Hello, welcome to Volvo Trucks Warwick. My name's David Davis, a regional business manager here. Today we have Volvo FMX made for you. It's durable, robust, and truly delivers on reliability and productivity. Right, let's take a look at the vehicle. Like with the FM, we have the larger front windscreen. We have the deeper Volvo brand and identity panel. We have the closed gaps to improved efficiency between the top and the lower part of the grille. We have the sturdy FMX front towing eye and cross member. We have the new drop down step, which obviously is accessible to help to clean the front of the vehicle and the windscreen. We have a much improved radius there, once again helping in efficiency. The Volvo new lighting on this particular model is with bulbs, but when you choose the rear air suspension, you have the option of choosing LED lights. Right, let's have a look down to the near side. We have the much loved Volvo FMX mirrors. We have a much lower door line, improving the driver's visibility. We have the new mirror arm camera that is available with several options. And like with the FM, we have the indicator in the door and the new extended door panel, improving aerodynamics and efficiency. This model has been chosen with the cab side extensions, which is an option, which I think you'll all agree really suits this vehicle. The vehicle I'm showing you today is powered by the 13 litre 460 horsepower. We have available in the FMX, the D11K 330 through to 460 horsepower and the 13 litre 420 all the way through to the mighty powerful 540 horsepower Step D engine in the FMX. Now let's have a look at the options available on the front axles. We have the FAL 10, front axle load 10 on single steer, front axle load 20 on twin steer, available on steel and air suspended vehicles that need the additional capacity to help accommodate the bodybuilder and customer with front and heavy mounted equipment. Okay, now let's have a look down the chassis. Firstly, factory fitted side guards, 48 litre near side ad blue tank with options available on the off side of the chassis. Right, let's have a look around the back of the vehicle. This vehicle has standard rear tipper overhang but we have many rear frame lengths to suit and adapt to customer's requirements, i.e. tipper and drawbar of where we can then fit all the additional equipment at the factory to suit the application. New Volvo LED rear lights with bulbs as options. Let's talk about the rear axles and suspensions. This vehicle is the very common B ride for the UK and the Irish markets. We have the TR1, the TR2 and the new TR3 heavy duty steel rear suspension. We also have a fully air suspended rear bogey that also come in the format of a tandem axle lift, allowing the fourth axle to be lifted when the vehicle is running light to improve on fuel efficiency, manoeuvrability and tyre wear. Axles, we have the 21 tonne axle, we have the 23 tonne axle, we have the 26 and 32. And now with the new FMX, we have the 38 tonne rear axle limit. That's a joint venture between Volvo Construction and Volvo Trucks, designed and manufactured for heavy duty use in mining and quarrying. This chassis has a 255 litre offside fuel tank. We have the options today of a 275 litre fuel tank mounted to the near side front of the vehicle, or you can replace this 255 litre with a 330 litre tank. Okay, now let's have a look at the silencers. So today all our silencers are horizontally chassis mounted with three outlets available, one to the rear, one to the right and vertical. The FMX today as a thinner door and door pockets, this allows the door to be opened up to 79 degrees. And with the new door steps and the new grab handles, we have one of the safest and most convenient entry and exits on today's marketplace. Now to hand over to Brian Anderson, who is going to show you the inside of this new FMX day cab. 
Hi and welcome to the new FMX interior. As Dave alluded to previously, we've retained many excellent features from the FMX that we've learned about since 2010, but we've now introduced many more fantastic features that we're going to speak about today. Starting off in the seating position, as you can see, I have a lot of space here. The reason for that being we have introduced what's called the neck tilt. Many of you will be familiar with the neck tilt from, F from FH, as we've had for, for many years now. So basically, that can be tilted all the way out the way, giving excellent access to the driver. With the neck tilt function, as you see, just the neck can be tilted or all the way down with the pedal, and the full column can be raised and lowered. So it really can be personalised to the driver's preference in terms of position for comfort and for safety. You will also see uh, on FMX, as on many Volvos, we have a very good range of seat options. This particular seat in this day cab is heated, air suspended, and it has a very good range in terms of adjustment uh, to suit the driver of any size, basically. In terms of cab options, you can, as you see, this is an FMX day cab. They've mentioned that before. But we actually have six cab variant options on FMX. So that would be standard day cab, as we have here. There's a low roof day cab, which could be used for mining or car transporter, for example. And there's also sleeper cab, low sleeper cab, and even a new crew cab. And of course, don't forget, we also have the Globetrotter cab. Globetrotter cab on FMX, as on FM, is also available with either one or two bunk sleeping options. Because of the larger cab, we've managed to increase the interior volume, of course. Another improvement to, to mention is the, the insulation. In fact, the insulation has been so much improved that we can say the interior noise within the cab is actually improved by around 20%, which is very good news for the driver, and it's very noticeable, in fact, when you go from one to the other. We have three trim levels, in fact, so we have robust, dynamic, and progressive. This one is the robust, and as you can see, this is being offered in cloth and vinyl trim, but it's also an option in leather. The colour scheme, as you see here, is very good for the type of vehicle we have here today, a construction vehicle. It's, uh, it's quite dark coloured, very easy to clean, so an excellent option. But because of the range of options that we're offering, there's so much choice for our customers. Another feature I can tell you about is the range of roof hatches has been improved. You will see on this vehicle we have the steel roof hatch. So what's the benefit there? Well, the benefit of a steel roof hatch in the FMX, of course, being primarily very strong in the construction segment, the steel roof hatch does offer some protection to the occupants of the cab in terms of falling rocks, etc. It also helps in terms of noise insulation and heat radiation. One of the most exciting features we have on the FMX now is the new contemporary display. You'll see we have a 12-inch driver display. Also, we have a side display now which is a, a nine inch touch screen. What I would just like to mention is the functionality in terms of cameras. They've touched on the passenger side camera. Obviously that is displayed on here very, very well. But in addition to that, we could also display a rear view camera and we can also display up to six additional cameras, all easily connected. One of the upgrades I particularly like on this vehicle is the new traction control function. Uh, where it's very, very simple to change the options in terms of diff locks, etc. Uh, also, it shows up on the 12 inch display. So it's very, very clear visually to the driver what's been engaged and what hasn't been. One of the other features, which is a carry forward from previous versions of FMX, is the work remote. The work remote is excellent. It can be used up to 25 meters away from the vehicle. It has an eight hour battery life and it can be used to remotely control the air suspension if it's an air suspended vehicle. It can be programmed to be used for bodybuilder functions to uh, connect with auxiliary switches within the vehicle, for example. So many possibilities and I think it's worth mentioning. Okay, so that's the work remote. Something else to mention, as on FM, we have completely new interior lights. So they're all LED now. The benefit of LED, of course, much brighter and less energy consumption. So a lot of good news so far in terms of feature developments, but what we can tell you 
in addition to that is that we have also increased the storage. Now we know how important that is for our drivers and it's with drivers in mind that we've done this. So on this day cab, we've increased the storage volume by an additional 60 litres. So it's a total of 190 litres of storage volume. What I particularly like is the storage area behind the driver. There's a large storage locker accessible from the driver and the passenger side. In the storage area we can easily store a hard hat, as you see there. In terms of the sleeper cab options, we have even more increased in terms of volume. Because we've raised the bunk by 170 millimetres, that's one of the additional areas of storage available now, is, is storage under the bunk. Also, you will notice we have a completely new ice shift controller. And what's the benefits? It's more compact, and in terms of cross-cab access, it's very much improved. We also have the option of plastic or leather trim. The trim on the controller is linked very much to the, the type of material that's chosen for the steering wheel. To summarise then, I would just like to highlight some of the features that we discussed. We have the larger cabs, we have improvements in terms of direct and indirect vision, we have increased bogey loads possibilities front and rear, we also have better storage inside the cab, and we have the new contemporary dash layout with all the new trim options. Thank you for watching.